guys, we had the clearer view. You can see better, but the moon's so big. <laughs> Where'd it go? But yeah, the Halloween full moon tomorrow is really exciting. <laughs> I decided I was going to film a little bit about the process that I do and yeah, because you guys ask me so often. I hope you're excited. Friends, let me get some better lighting. So I decided to do my makeup a little differently today. I did it the way that I was doing it over the summer, which is basically like my normal makeup routine, but like condensed down into like four easy steps. So it literally takes me five minutes to do this in the morning. I have literally like no actual concealer on, only like highlight here, eyebrow, mascara, and a little bit of like blush and nose contour, and I have like little freckles. So I think I'm gonna go back to doing this makeup because I think it's a little more flattering on me, especially when I have acne, it like doesn't accentuate them as much, my breakouts I mean. So today I have to run a few errands. I am traveling to see my family which is really exciting because I haven't seen them since last December, I think it was. So it's been a year now, which is the longest I've gone without seeing my family. So I am very privileged to say that I'm able to go see them, which I know a lot of people aren't able to do. So I do feel extremely lucky and blessed that I have the opportunity to do that. So. Yeah, it should be really good. I'm really excited to be able to spend some time with my family. And before I do that, there are some things I need to get done. So I'm going to go into the town today to do those things. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. And yeah, enjoy. It's supposed to be really cold out today. So I'm wearing this long jacket and this scarf. It's winter, guys. How do you feel about that? I'm actually really excited because I was born in December. So my birthday is coming up. Wow! Sag season! I literally am loving this video by the Purple Palace. She's so cute and so entertaining. Can it focus? <laughs> I really recommend watching her. So I made these really good cookies last night because I'm leaving in a couple of nights and I just wanted to like treat myself because I have nothing sweet in the house to eat. But they're chocolate chip and walnut cookies. They're so good. I've already eaten so many. Let's see if I can break it open. Look how thick they are. Thick boys. Ooh. Yeah. I just wanted to show you guys something really cool that I'm really excited about that just came in the mail and I am really, 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 really excited to show you. So let's do it, shall we? Where's the lighting? So I got this really amazing opportunity from Zitsticka to collab on this really, really good project. I'm so proud of them for doing this and collaborating with Brandon Blackwood on this project. So I'm gonna show you guys the bag and also talk to you guys a little bit about what their mission is and the proceeds. The bag is so cute. Oh my gosh, I have never heard of Brandon Blackwood previous to this. However, this is adorable and it's literally my favorite color. I'm like freaking out. Brandon Blackwood NYC is a small black owned accessories brand. 
He's most known for his End Systemic Racism bags. So by purchasing this bag on Brandon Blackwood's website, proceeds will go to the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law, a nonprofit organization that helps provide legal counsel slash aid to people of color tackling civil rights cases, which is so important. And I'm really excited to be a part of this, especially, you know, I think it's such a good mission and it's so important right now. In addition, Zitstika is also donating 10% of net proceeds from press refresh sales during launch week to the same organization. I'm so excited about these two. I recently posted about their press refresh masks. And these are the Hydrogel Exfoliating Sheet Masks. I love doing a sheet mask, you know, in the bathtub, as self-care, whatever it may be. But sheet masks are one of my favorite self-care activities, especially, you know, today is full moon. So I might be doing one of these to just like pamper myself and really yeah give it my all in the self-care department today so i'm really really so grateful to brandon blackwood and also to zitstika for collaborating with me on this as well and including me in this I really think it's an amazing organization and you guys should definitely support. So if you're interested in either the Press Refresh masks or Brandon Blackwood's bag, the End Systemic Racism bag, then make sure to check the description box for all information on how you can purchase these things. Yay! So yeah, I just wanted to talk about that because it's important and we need to take a stance like I was saying in my other vlog. Also on a lighter note, I did a photo shoot the other day and <laughs> they made me take off all my rings which is completely normal for photo shoots. I always expect that, you know, going in so it's totally fine but doesn't it look so weird? Like I've been so used to my hands with rings on, like this looks crazy. There's so many things I want to do today. It is full moon and I'm going to be filming my full moon process tonight and maybe an ASMR if I have time. I'm really hoping that I will. Usually during full moon it's like a two-day process for me but since I'm so busy because I'm about to travel I can't really do as much as I want to. So yesterday what I did was kind of clean the house a little bit and get my stuff in order and I took a really long bath and and kind of used that as my meditation for the night. Um, just a really nice bath with candles to get myself really ready for full moon today. So what I'm gonna do today, tonight, is you know around 5 p.m. I'll probably start getting in the relaxation mood. I'll probably take a bath. I'm gonna wash my hair. I always like to wash my hair on full moons. Not only, obviously, but like I like to sync it up. It always, I don't know, it just feels right. And then we're gonna go into some journaling. I might do that today in town as well if I find a nice quiet spot. But we're gonna do some journaling, some meditation. I'm probably gonna like burn some things that I wanna let go. And yeah, I'm gonna try to record all this stuff and get it done before leaving. I also have like two other videos I need to record before leaving. So busy. Um, I've been slacking so much just because, you know, I've been trying to take a lot of time for myself to better how I feel. And when I'm like spreading myself so thin on so many projects, it can get really hard to take time to do self-care like one of the things that i noticed is that during the summer when we kind of first had to quarantine i took a lot of time to do self-care because i was like oh now that i'm home so much i have the time to put in to this you know nightly routine of mine so i would do gua sha i had a lot of steps in my skincare routine i would do a mask i would take a bath, wind down, have some tea, you know, things like that. And I realized I had really been slacking on that, like now that it's getting colder again. So I tried to do that last night, the past two nights really. Also, I have some oil in my hair, which is why it's like kind of flat because, you know, I feel like my hair, like the curls were so healthy over the summer 
and they're not like unhealthy right now but i feel like every time i'm here on the east coast my curls aren't as nice i don't really know it must be something about the water or like humidity or something but i just want them to be healthy again and i might go back to blonde so i just want to you know nourish my hair as much as i can before that how are you guys doing i hope you're taking the time to really nourish yourselves and focus on self-care. You know, with the winter months coming up, there's going to be, oh, also daylight savings. Isn't that today? With all that, you know, I get really bad seasonal depression in the winter months, and I haven't been back on the East Coast where we experience seasons for a whole year. So last year when it was winter, I was in California and I don't think I really had any sort of like seasonal depression. I already kind of feel like that, but it's a good thing because I need to rest and I think this is my body telling me like, okay, slow down, relax right now, you can, so do it. I've been trying to eat really well and feed myself and nourish my body. That's kind of the theme for this full moon. For me at least, the thing that I want to let go of is how hard I've been on myself, how self-conscious I've been. I don't know what's happened like this month specifically, but I've been so, so, so self-conscious and I have no confidence at all. Only like some days, but I used to feel that way every single day and I just don't know what's happened to me and why I feel like this. So. I want to really sit on that and like explore it tonight when I meditate and be able to let go of it by the end of tonight, hopefully, or at least start to let go of it.
what is going on? What the hell? I heard like screaming. What does that say? month two of my curology process and here is my unboxing of my shipment comes in this cute little package that says your skin goals achieved and when you open it up you have your formula your cleanser and your moisturizer So here is my formulation and yeah, I'm so excited about month two. If you'd like to see month two's interview questions, make sure you click the card that pops up right now. Okay guys, so I just got out of the shower. I bought this new curl product from Diva Curl and it like really, really worked. And I didn't realize it, but purple shampoo works really well on orangey hair as well i mean i kind of put two and two together and assumed it would work well because it always works well on my yellowy hair so i left it on for about 30 minutes and it definitely got a lot out do you see this it's like blonde almost i am gonna have to do it again up here but yeah i feel like summer of real <laughs> so the next thing that i'm gonna do now is just tidy up in here a little bit. During full moons, I usually clean my whole house or at least my space, but because I'm a little busy this full moon, I'm not gonna be able to clean the full house, but I will be kind of tidying around and that's the best I'm gonna do for this full moon because I'm lazy. So I'm just folding my laundry right now. My bed is so messy. Oops. Hate that for me. This is the Diva Curl product I was using, by the way. So, so good. And it smells really good. So, the next thing I would normally do after taking a bath and such, you can also do this before, obviously. You can't see, but off screen, I have a bunch of books that I felt really fit with my mood this full moon and what I'm going through and what I've been thinking about. So those books are The Mastery of Love by Don Miguel Ruiz. This is a really good book and I'm just going to skim through and note down a few passages or even prayers in here that I really like and want to incorporate into my meditation tonight. I have two books on dreams because I've been having some really, really crazy dreams recently and like really vivid ones. I actually put this red jasper under my pillow to sleep the past few days because I was gifted this by Awakening in a Box. If you're interested in watching that video, you can click this card right now to see that crystal unboxing. But I put this red jasper under my pillow because it's said to be good for remembering dreams and it's I feel like it might actually be really, really working because I've been having some crazy vivid dreams recently. So I have Sex Symbols and Dreams by Janice Hinshaw Bayless, PhD. Also, sorry if my nails look crazy. I did the purple shampoo and obviously got on my nails too. I haven't read this yet, so I'm just gonna skim through and see if anything pertains to any of the dreams I've been having. And then also, this one is The Dream Dictionary by Tony Crisp. So I'm going to do the same thing with this, just look up certain terms that I've been seeing pop up a lot in my dreams. Ah! 
<laughs> and I'm just gonna take some notes on them. An additional book that I always keep with me to the side when I'm meditating is Remember Be Here Now by Ram Das. This has a lot of good you know, assistance for if you're kind of lost in your meditation. I feel like if you just skim through this, it really helps. But it also has some prayers to say, and I'm gonna look and see if any of them will pertain to my meditation. I also brought the Bhagavad Gita. This is the translation by Graham M. Schweig. I think that's how you say it. I'm just gonna skim through and see, again, if there's anything to note for later. And these are my two really cute notebooks right here. I absolutely love collecting really pretty notebooks. And as you can see, these both have like gold leaf on it. And I think it's really cool. But yeah, so this one right here is actually my spiritual journal that is strictly for spiritual notes, which I've talked about before. I mostly write in this when I'm meditating or after I've meditated, and I will write about an experience or a manifestation or just an idea or numbers I've been seeing, so I'm probably gonna be writing in this tonight. This right here is just a normal journal, but I use this to take notes and also, where's my new journal that I bought today? My new journal that I bought today, I'm gonna take this part off, is so cute. It is called the Olivetti Pattern Series Notebook. If you guys look inside, it has all these different little patterns oh, on the pages. And I thought that was really cute, so I don't know, I brought this one just because I was writing in it today and in case anything kind of goes with that theme, I'll incorporate it in here as well. So I also brought two cookies because I always get kind of hungry during meditation or just like spiritual work because I feel like when you're using so much brain power, it really can be draining sometimes. So I always like to have a snack near me and also some ice cold water. I do the same thing when I meditate because after I get out of that meditative state, I'm always so groggy and I've had a few instances where I'm really lightheaded from getting into such a meditative state and such a calm state. So I always bring a little snack with me as well. And yeah, so I'm just gonna do that right now. You can also burn a candle or some incense. I am currently burning some Nag Champa? Nag Champa? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Please correct me if I'm wrong. While you're doing this, you can either just be in silence or I really recommend this channel, Healing Vibrations. They do these crystal singing bowl videos and they're usually like an hour long so it's perfect for a meditation or just like a study sesh. So yeah, I really recommend these or I normally play this when I'm meditating 
but this playlist by Ravi Shankar, it's called On Sitar Ravi Shankar on Apple Music. It has Kafi Holi, Tarana, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce all of these, but this playlist, just playing it from the start to the finish, I find is the perfect playlist for meditation. So yeah, I really recommend you guys listen to this. I am filming an ASMR on meditation and such today, so I made note of some pages that I wanted to talk about for meditation, and I also took some notes. I've been seeing a lot of imagery of frogs and of this one specific person and these two numbers. So I'm gonna do my research on that and we're gonna film the ASMR and then I'm gonna actually get into meditating. So, woo, exciting. Yeah. 